Are you new to Red Dot Online? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you my top five tips to rank up quick and make some money on your new adventure. Howdy Cowpoke, Austin BMX here and welcome to today's video. As you can see in the background, if you're new around here, you may not be aware, but if you're not, I am not playing on my account. I'm actually playing on my son's account who hasn't played in quite a while and he is pretty low rank and has none of the roles. So in this video, we're going to be going over the top five things that I feel is greatly needed for you to rank up and make some money in Red Dead Online as you start your new adventure. As always, if you find this video helpful, make sure to smash that like button. If you're new around here, consider subscribing to the channel. Hit that button right down there for more Red Dead Online content, including tips and tricks, news updates, gameplay, and just good old-fashioned fun. We're shooting for 5,000 by the end of the year, and we're getting super close to getting there. So I play in Red Dead Online. We've noticed there's been quite a lot of new low rank players in our lobbies on console. And of course, with PC coming out, you may be one of these players that are just getting your hands wet in Red Dead Online, and you're wondering... How do I rank up? How do I make some money? What should I be doing? Well, here are my five tips to get you ranked up pretty fairly easily and make some money along the way. My first number one tip, and this one's going to cost you a little bit, but it's definitely not needed because we're going to go over more stuff to make uh, XP and money as we go along this video, but get the rolls. The rolls are a great way to make XP and money in Red Dead Online. They include the collector, the trader, and of course the bounty hunter. Now they do cost 15 gold bars per roll. I believe there is a way to get the bounty hunter still for free if you are linked with Twitch. So you may be able to get that one. Uh, possibly if you have Twitch Prime or Amazon Prime, you could also possibly even do the free trial still and be able to get the bounty hunter for free. And I will link our original video in the description on how all that works so you can get to that. The rolls are fantastic. And the ones I would recommend getting if you do have to pay for them first would be Collector first because that thing is extremely easy to make tons of XP and money. And then the Bounty Hunter after that because it allows you to just grind out Bounty Hunter missions. And then the Trader after that because with some of the issues in the game with the camp and the animal spawns, uh, that one kind of is hard to grind out, but it is good money. But that would be our recommendations for the rolls if you're looking at getting those. Now, if you don't get any rolls for free or you don't have the gold right now, uh, here's some great tips to use to rank up just playing the game in general. And our first tip, actually, you might not think you can do this, but it is all about collectibles. As you can see in most of the background video that we're playing here, uh, I'm running around getting a whole bunch of collectibles and I'm not a collector. What's the point in that, you say? Well, anytime you picked up a collectible, you actually gain XP, as you can see here now. And there are tons of collectibles that you can get, even if you're not a collector. Now, you can't sell these yet, but you do hold on to them. So in the future, if you become a collector, man, you're going to already have tons of collectibles to get. Now, if you're not a collector, anything that you don't have to dig up out of the ground, you can pick up. Those include tarot cards, antique alcohol bottles, eggs, and family heirlooms, and flowers. So those five things you can pick up no matter what if you're not a collector. Now the only thing is, I've noticed when I was playing on my son's account here, he is only rank 22 and not a collector. Uh, a lot of the stuff you can't see, so you need to know where it is. Now as you can see here, I was able to see the eggs. Um, you are not able to see the antique alcohol bottles as far as an eagle eye. I mean, you could see them if you know where they are. And the tarot cards as well, I did notice that one time I was able to see the gold reflection in eagle eye but most of the time I was not and the flowers you are able to see the gold reflection in eagle eye now I did not get any vibrations at all if you are a collector when you're close to any collectibles you do have that sense and you get vibration in your controller unfortunately if you're not a collector you won't get those vibrations but there is a way to know where every collectible is and it is amazing if you guys weren't aware there is an amazing app or web interface that's been out since the rolls came out uh, made by this amazing guy Jean Rope Rope I think it's his name is and I'll link this map down in the description below but this map shows you every collectible that is on the map currently at any given time 
you guys aren't aware, there's three rotations for collectibles, and they rotate between 1, 2, and 3, or A, B, and C. Not randomly throughout the week, but it's not in a specific order. Well, it is in a specific order. Um, but this map gives you a real-time outlook of exactly what's in the map. And you can use this map, if you're low-ranked, to go out and find all those collectibles that you can. You can see here that you can use the left drop-downs, and you could uncheck anything that you have to dig up. Most of those are arrowheads, uh, family jewelry, um, any of those necklaces, earrings, bracelets are usually buried. You can't find those. Um, but anything else that we mentioned earlier, you could definitely find all over the map and be able to get yourself tons of XP while picking all of these up. So make sure you're jumping over and using this map, if, even if you're not a collector, to go around and find all these collectibles to get tons of XP and then you'll have a full satchel of collectibles to sell when and if you do become a collector. Moving on to tip number three, we have, it's pretty self-explanatory, shoot and skin everything you see. Unfortunately, with the way the lobbies are working right now, you might not have very many animals. Sometimes you might jump in and have all kinds of animals, but our tip here is to shoot and skin everything. You get XP every time you shoot something, and you also get XP every time you skin something. Now. This XP won't show up on your little XP bar uh, on your right, but you do get it in the long run. And that also works on making money because when you're low ranked, you want to shoot and skin everything um, and just fill your horse because no matter what you do when you skin stuff, you'll fill your satchel or you'll throw those pelts on the back of your horse. And those stay with you for quite a long time. They usually don't get disconnected from your satchel or your horse when you do get disconnected. So I would recommend shooting and skinning everything you see in the game. I still do that even at rank 200 plus just to get random XP as I'm going around the map. Bonus little tip in that shoot and skin everything, I would recommend two guns to buy as soon as you can, would be or the first two guns you should buy in the game is definitely the varmint rifle because that's the only gun you can use to shoot smaller game and birds and still keep them three star as well as the bolt action rifle. Now you do have to be ranked up a little bit to buy that, but I wouldn't recommend buying the Springfield rifle, although it is lower rank uh, because the bolt action is a little bit better. And if you wait to get that, then you can have that for a long run. That's the main gun I still use even at rank 200 plus. So definitely work on getting ranked up and uh, enough cash to buy the bolt action rifle and the vomit rifle for your hunting needs. Tip number four we have for you is to loot, loot, loot. That's right. Loot everything you see. If you run in a gang hideout, loot all the bodies afterwards. If you run across, uh, defend the campsite and you clear it out, make sure you loot everybody. Uh, you get a little bit of money off those, but you can get some other collectibles and lootables as well. So that's fantastic. And also know some great loot spots. That's right. Some great loot spots are fantastic in the game to get yourself a whole bunch of random lootables that are fantastic for low rank players. I've outlined a few of my favorite loot spots, especially when I was lower ranked to get a whole bunch of ranks and I have them up here now. Uh, the first one we're looking at is Rat Skeller Fork. Now it is down above Tumbleweed, um, so you need to be down in that area. Go up to Rat Skeller Fork. This loot area is fantastic for horse care items. Uh, inside the barn we have highlighted here, you can get uh, two or three of different kind of horse care items, including revivers, stimulants. You can get some horse cakes to feed your horse. Definitely come down to this area daily when you're in Red Dead Online to get yourself some amazing horse care items. Our second lootable spot that we have for you guys is in Strawberry. Now I do have the pinpoint highlighted on the building you need to go into is called the Welcome Center. It's right next to the jail. The Welcome Center is an amazing loot spot that has all kinds of loot upstairs. I believe there's a cigar downstairs, a little bit of stuff in the back pantry, not much though, but if you go upstairs, the two rooms upstairs and the trunk in the hallway have all kinds of great lootables to get you filled up on a few horse items, some gun oil, miracle tonics, and other tonics that you could need to fill up your satchel in Red Dead Online. Now, our third loot spot that you guys definitely should know about is way up here in the Grizzlies, uh, this little tiny watchtower that you can see right here we have marked. You definitely want to get up here because there is some amazing stuff here and quite a lot of it. 
Uh, maybe a gang hideout when you get there, so definitely that's even a plus. You can clear those guys out, loot all of them, and then go inside the building and loot. Inside the main building, just inside the door, should be a whole mess of canned food. Canned food is great when you're low level because you can easily eat that and you don't have to buy anything. Uh, there's a trunk in here with some bait as well as some gun oil. Make sure you go around back and go downstairs because downstairs is a whole bunch of ammo that's better than the stuff you can buy as a low rank. So there are some quick loot spots for you guys to learn and know about and go to daily in Red Dead Online. I also will link down in the description a video for our favorite loot spots that include these and a couple more to get you guys some amazing food, tonics, and ammo in Red Dead Online as a new player. Our number five tip talks about stranger missions. Now if you don't have any of the roles and you're not grinding out bounty missions, I recommend grinding out stranger missions. Stranger missions are a great way to get XP, money, and gold. Uh, they're scattered all over the map. You can do them as much as you want. Well, you can do, you know, you can't do one and then do the same one over and over again. It kind of has a little cooldown, but there's so many of them that you can grind them out pretty dang good. Uh, the one tip for stranger missions, unfortunately, is you want to wait to finish them. So if you do a stranger mission, uh, if you want the max amount of gold, money, and XP, make sure you're waiting to finish that stranger mission until there's 30 seconds on the timer. So if it's kill somebody, uh, you want to make sure you hogtie that guy, hold him, and run around and do some other collectibles or kill, shoot, everything else. And then wait till that 30 seconds and then uh, let him have it and kill him. If it's turn in a bag or turn in a wagon, just wait at your destination until that 30 seconds is over and then turn it in. Now the best stranger missions that I believe pay out the most when you wait that 30 seconds is on the hunt. That's the ones I've had the most experience with, with getting the most amount of XP and money and gold. On the Hunt can be found down at McFarland Ranch by Bonnie and uh, also up uh, with Hamish near O'Cray's Run. So those two strangers will give you On the Hunt stranger missions and they're pretty dang good payout if you wait till the 30 seconds is over. If you're not low level ranked and you watch this video and you have some more tips for new level players, make sure to drop them down in the comments. We're definitely here to help people out. If you are level level ranked and you're on PS4, make sure you're jumping over to our community on the PS4 community page because we have tons of players on there that love to jump in, help everybody out, maybe even get you in on their posse during a trader run, which is great XP as well. If you're not, even if you're not in the roles, it's great random XP and cash. So definitely jump over there if you're on PS4. Well, Calpoke, I hope this video helped you out. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. If you're new around here, consider subscribing to the channel. Hit that button right down there for more Red Dead Online content, including tips and tricks, news updates, gameplay, and just good old-fashioned fun. Hope to see you on the prairie sometime, but until then, see you later.